What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Forever Stranded Lost Souls. Oh, yeah, guys. So, last episode, we had set up some of these hopping bonsai pots. We got ourselves a paper bark sapling, and we are growing it, which is fantastic. This tree is producing paper a little slower than I would like, but we are, in fact, getting paper, which is good. We did get one paper bark sapling, so we could make another tree and double the speed, but, you know, it's doing what it needs to do. So, we have a little bit of paper now. So I kind of want to let that just, you know, do its thing, make more paper, and we'll we'll use that paper here soon enough. Our other tree over here, our oak tree, apple oak tree, whatever you want to call it, has made a decent amount of wood so far. We made a little bit of leaves, some saplings. Again, I should probably spread the leaves out a little bit here so we can get more of that stuff. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be a smart idea. I'll just kind of rearrange things right now. And I don't think we're gonna need any more sticks than that. Okay, yeah, I think that's probably gonna be a little bit better. So we can get up to four stacks of leaves. I might even want more than that, but I don't know how much oak wood we're gonna need. Anyway, uh, so we have that going. So today I wanted to start working on some of these quests that we can start knocking out. So uh, one of the first quests I wanna do is Crucible Lava. This way we don't have to keep going out and finding lava. Yeah, we can just make our own lava. I think that's going to be good. That might get us to the point where we can make ourselves a cobblestone generator. I'm not really sure how that's going to work in this particular mod pack since we cannot place water in the nether. We might have to wait until we get ourselves like the Igneous Extruder or something from Thermal Expansion or some other variation of cobble generation. I don't know. But anyway, uh, this will help us get a little bit of lava. So I think that's going to be good. So it says get some lava. I mean, don't you... You don't want to always travel to the lake of it, do you? No, I really don't. So, uh, crucible. We have a few different crucibles in here. We have an unfired crucible from Better With Mods. I think it's looking for this one over here, though. Uh, which we're going to have to make the unfired one that smelt it. The unfired one is made with porcelain clay or unfired porcelain. Whichever one has a recipe, so that's got to be the unfired porcelain. So again, we're going to be making some of this stuff. We did this for the ceramics mod, I believe, last time. Or maybe the episode before. I don't exactly remember. But anyway, two clay plus nether quartz makes two of those. We have to make, was it three recipes? We need seven. Maybe it's going to be four recipes. Um, so we're going to need four of that. And we're going to need eight of our clay balls. We have three. Is that all we have? It looks like that's all we have. Okay, well, we have more dust, right? And then we can make more water by throwing leaves in here. So that's not going to be that big of a deal. I think we had more leaves in this one over here. Uh, I think two buckets of water is going to be enough. Okay, well, this is going to be a little bit of time. We're going to have to wait for that thing to <laughs> melt down or whatever. Uh, where did I put my buckets? Right here. Cool. All right, so once we get the water, once this melts down, we can bucket the water out of this crucible, put it into the wooden barrel, put dust in there, and get our clay. Let me go ahead and make two blocks of clay and then make the porcelain clay or unfired clay, whatever that is. And we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. So here we go. Here's our unfired porcelain. We needed seven of those. We have to make eight and then we can make ourselves the unfired crucible. All right. So this wanted us to have the crucible crucible. So we have to take that and then throw that into our furnace here. That'll smelt it down real quick. And then we should be able to have a way of creating lava, which is going to be great. Now, at this point, we can't really do anything with this, I don't think, unless we can place this on top of a torch, which we don't have in here. I suppose I can place a torch somewhere like so, and then place this here. Uh, so that says rate zero times. So torches apparently have been disabled for heat sources in this mod pack. Okay. So torches have been the thing that we normally use with these, but since we cannot use it, we're going to have to find another heat source. Now, fire has also been a pretty good one in the past. Lava is also a pretty good one that we've used previously, but we don't have any more lava right now. So I wonder if it would be a good idea for me to try and spread that fire over a little bit. So we can put another piece of netherrack down below this block here and then put a piece of wood here and that fire should catch that wood on fire which would light the netherrack. That might be what we do here. Hmm. Um, we could also move this part chest and do it in the corner back here too. The problem is the more fire we have closer to like our wood things, the more we're going to get random fires around. 
and that's not really ideal uh we could also move these things that might not be a bad idea yeah you know what let's do that let's move this over here behind which we're not really needing for much and then this thing i'm not sure where we're gonna put it we'll do that and then we can move this guy somewhere else I mean, I guess we could literally put it right like that. That should be fine, right? I can still put water in and out of this thing. And then we don't need to see inside of it. Yeah, we could do that. Okay, so we want to put a piece of wood right here. And then we want nether rack right down there. There is a sparkly thing. Oh my goodness, that's a that's a nasty looking mob. Uh, so <laughs> one piece of nether rack. Right like so, and then we need to get ourselves a log and put right next to it. Let's grab one of these guys. Like so. And I should be able to put a block on top so it doesn't catch fire on top and just burn. But you know what? I think we're just going to leave it like that. We'll let the fire spread. Perfect. We're already done. All right. So let's get rid of that. Oh, and the wood's gone. Okay. So now that we got that down there, we should be able to place this back and then put not that, this right there so this has a rate of 4x now perfect i think that's gonna do exactly what we need it to do uh so i believe it is eight pieces of cobblestone makes a bucket of lava although it could be four let's try four and then if not we'll put an eight it is four okay so four solid cobblestone turns into 1000 and then uh yeah we'll get a thousand lava one bucket once that melts down perfect okay so we don't have to worry about that anymore. We could put a hopper on top of this to keep feeding in cobblestone and get as much lava in this thing as possible. But until we need a lot, I think that's going to work for us for our purposes right now. Okay, so now that we have that done, let's go ahead and choose a loot chest. We can make crucibles pretty easily. There's no reason to do that. So claim it. And what do we get? Drawer and a storage upgrade. I think we got that reward previously. It feels like we did. I probably moved him into our other chest back in that other storage room because it's not things that we're using at the moment. All right, so let's move on here. Uh, diamond hammer, that might be a thing we can do. Let's take a look at this. So a diamond hammer. Oh, this requires the diamond ingots from Better With Mods. So I was looking at these diamond ingots a little bit ago. And if we look at this, we can see that we need the creeper oyster or the molten cores, right? To get those. There's also another recipe here that requires a stoked crucible. Now that requires diamond nuggets in the stoked crucible. And that makes these directly without all of those other ingredients, which I thought was kind of cool. So we have better than better with mods version, uh, where it looks like we can hammer obsidian into these i guess i'm not sure how that works also there is the thermal foundation where we can take a diamond or an industrial diamond and convert those directly into the diamond nuggets which we can put into the stoked crucible i think this is going to be the method that we're going to want to use so we can't really make the diamond hammer which would mean we can't make the compressed or the ultimate compressed hammers we're gonna have to wait on that so iron compressed hammer might be a thing we can do. Let's take a look at this iron compressed hammer. All right. So that's going to require us to have nine iron hammers. So that is 18 iron that we need. And then 27 sticks, I think. All right. So sticks we have under control. Do we have 27 iron? No, nope. or uh, not. I'm sorry. Not 27, 18 iron. I think we do. I think we can sacrifice that amount of iron to do what we need to do here. Um, okay. Why did that split weirdly? I guess that was just a visual glitch nine and nine. I think we're good. So we'll make those get the sticks back and then we'll just shift click those right on back into here, which makes our compressed iron hammer. Cool. So that is a quest complete. So that can give us. Oh, that's going to give us two compressed iron hammers, two loot chests and three loot or chance cubes. Let's claim all of that stuff. So all of these compressed iron hammers we're going to put away. We can't really use these we, until we get enough magic where we can place down the compressed cobblestone. We can still use those for compressed gravel and sand, but really we need to get the compressed cobblestone situation figured out. Uh, chance cubes we'll put away again because we're not really using those. Dust we'll put away. 
uh clay and the unfired man we got so much stuff in here i'm gonna have to figure this out okay so let us go ahead and pop these loot chests so four nether stars and 12 diamond lattice wow can we do anything with those no okay so that's a pretty good reward i like it and then we get two compact giant chance cubes i think the chance cubes we're gonna take away from here <laughs> uh what else can we move sticks i feel like we could take out of this chest as well since we are now making sticks we can kind of feed them over here a little bit there we go we have full sticks every time we need them they'll just start replenishing and then over here we could probably do the same thing add in some more spots for sticks i think that's probably going to be something that makes sense just so we have a little bit more storage for these guys something like that should work i like it okay and then as we need more things or whatever we can continue to rearrange the hopping bonsais they'll just continue to produce stuff for us which is going to be great all right so we got a little bit more room in here i guess we can put away some cobblestone stone barrels and like some of these other things we have to figure out chance cubes and the giant chance cubes i really don't think we're ever going to use I know a lot of people want to see them because they want to see me die or whatever, but you know what? Honestly, we're here to do a series. We're not here to just end the series after three chance cubes or whatever. So yeah, I don't think we're going to be doing that. All right. Oh, you know what? That's how I got these unlit torches before. It looks like when you place a torch and you break it, you get an unlit torch back. I wasn't really... I was wondering how we got those. I didn't pay attention. That's how we got it. Okay. So unlit torches, that is how those are happening. So it says like you can place those down and then use another torch to relight it. That's interesting. I wonder if there's any way to convert that back into a normal torch. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well now uh, torches take up two slots of inventory space. <laughs> Great. Um, and then sugar cane. Yeah, we have four extras over here, which is good. Ah, inventory management. Let's let's worry about that a little bit later. So a lot of these things that we have remaining are things we cannot do right now. They either require power or they require materials that we cannot get. What about a diamond stiffened mesh? Can we make one of these? We can do that. Um, so let's grab six diamonds. And then we definitely had iron stiffened mesh back here, which we can change flint iron okay so let's go ahead and make one iron or i'm sorry one diamond stiffened mesh to complete that quest there you go quest complete and that's going to give us another diamond stiffened mesh plus a oh we could do either or uh let's do the loot chest let's do the loot chest okay pop it ender pearls okay well that's something we haven't had yet i haven't killed an enderman even though i really want to because the uh the weird thing to do to our screen when we get close to one <laughs> really, really is annoying. Uh, all right, so we can put that in there. Okay, so I think that pretty much takes care of the first section of the quest book, what we can do at this point in time. Um, let me just double check. Yeah, auto sieve, auto hammer, auto compressed, auto heavy sieve, and then the diamond hammer. We can't do anything else at this point. So we're going to get back to better with mods. Now, we saw that we can do a stoked fire, right? And I do believe that requires us to have these bellows and the hibachi and potentially the kiln. But these things are also going to require us to have mechanical power. So I'm not sure how far along in this path we can get. Uh, we can take a look at the gearbox and then we also were going to look at this windmill too. So let's do the gearbox. Uh, wooden gearbox. Gearboxes get overpowered when the windmill spins too quickly. Disable it with the redstone before this happens. Okay, okay. So the gearbox requires us to have a redstone latch, four gears, and four planks. That's pretty easy. And the latch is just three gold nuggets and a redstone. I think we have, yeah, we have enough stuff here for a latch. So we can make that real quick. There's that and that. Okay, so redstone latch, easy. And then we needed planks and those gears. I don't remember how we make gears. Let's take a look. So four logs and a stick. Easy. Four logs, one stick. And then we also needed four planks. 
take another log here. All right, so there we go. So there we should have everything ready to make our very first gearbox. Do that. Wait a second. Let's go back in here. Click on this. So this, oh, okay. So either four planks plus a stick makes one or four logs plus a stick make four. Yeah, I saw the planks there just the last second. I was like, wait a second. All right, so there's our gears and this should make our gear box. Cool. All right, so what else do we need to complete that quest? It apparently did not complete by us doing that. It wants us to make two gear boxes. Okay, I did not realize that. So three more of that, one of that. We need five logs. All right, so that should be everything. Let's turn one of these logs into planks and we will make ourselves these gears. And finally the gear, oh, we didn't make the redstone thing. Redstone latch and this, perfect. There is two wooden gear boxes. Quest complete. That's gonna give us two loot chests. All right, so are we gonna get some really, really good stuff out of this? <laughs> Bread slice. All right, well, food is okay. And mob masher upgrade looting. And we get a fire aspect. Not so sure about the fire aspect, but the looting, that one's good. Uh, what's the recipe on this? The recipe on that, okay, so just like blue dye or lapis, gold nuggets, and redstone. So not super expensive, but it's definitely something that's going to be useful for us. Now, I think we got those bread slices before. Is that it right there? Yeah. All right, so we can just kind of stack those together a little bit in our food section. Cool. All right, so now that that is done, um, actually, we didn't read the quest here. It says a gearbox is like a lever in your redstone system that turns the redstone on and off. So I suppose this means that this is going to take the power from our windmill and we can turn that on and off further down the line. Okay. So after the gearbox, upgrade gearbox, steel gearbox. I don't think we're going to be able to do that just yet. Bellows. What does it cost to make a bellows? These are things I've never made before and I don't really know. Spring action bellows or just a regular one. Okay, in order to do this, we have to have the wood siding. Although I believe siding wood is the same thing as a plank um, or a slab. I mean, like the wooden slab. Uh, I don't know if that works that way, but that's a lot of leather that we're going to need. And I don't know if we have the leather to go into this and it might actually need the siding, which means we already have to have the saw running. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's hold off on that for the moment. So we're not going to go this path. Let's take a look at the windmill. Let's try and get some basic power going. So it says place a windmill on the axle with a gearbox. It will start to turn. You can then place a mill or any other block that needs power to work. Perfect. Okay. So the windmill, we saw that it was the immersive engineering one, not the better with mods one in the quest book that it shows. So let's take a look at this. So this requires eight windmill blades, which requires treated wood planks and treated sticks. So in order to get to the treated stuff, we are in fact going to need to get ourselves creosote. All right. So before we can continue on with this, we will have to go to immersive technology. So we needed the paper originally to unlock this quest and get to their Coke oven quest. So let's start here. So engineer's manual. All right. So engineer's manual required us to have a book plus tanned leather. I think we had that tanned leather somewhere. It's in my inventory plus three pieces of paper. All right. Our, our paper bark tree is doing everything it needs to do here. So that and that. Was it something else? Oh, maybe it's shaped crafting. There we go. So there's one book and then we need that plus a lever, which is just a stick and cobblestone. Very, very simple. All right. So cobblestone stick lever and we craft, oops, we craft these things together into the engineer's manual. All right. So that completes the very first quest, which is going to give us a loot chest. It says to be able to construct all the multi-block and immersive engineering, you're going to need an engineer's hammer and an engineer's manual. Okay, so we got both of those things. So now we get a loot chest, we'll pop that open. We get gravel and cobbled soul stone. We've gotten this reward before. It's a still a pretty good reward, not great, but still pretty good. 
really want these <laughs> nether stars out of my inventory. And the diamond lattice too. Those are those are a little expensive. All right. Um, moving on with our quest here. So now we have unlocked Coke oven. So Coke oven says for making coal, Coke coal and creosote oil, you're going to need a Coke oven. Mm -hmm. So we need 27 Coke bricks and we have to craft those. Yep. Crafting task. Okay. So let's take a look. So a Coke brick is made. Well, we get three of those with four clay, four bricks. So eight clay total, two clay blocks and a sandstone. Okay. Well, we know how to get the clay blocks. That's going to take a little bit of time for me to melt down leaves in our, in our Oak crucible here. We have plenty of dust. Uh, let's see. Where's our dust at? Yep. We have lots of sand turned to sandstone. So I think we're going to be pretty okay here. And there we go. There's one clay block. Let me go ahead and melt down some more leaves into water and then make some more of our dust into clay and then we'll be right back guys all right guys what a process this has been but i think we are just about done here so place a little bit of water in there a little bit more dust and get some more clay so i think that is going to be it to get the last of this done we have four bricks in here all right and then i've also while i've been waiting on this stuff making more dirt we had an excess of oak saplings yep so been placing eight saplings into our stone barrel here and collecting some dirt in the process to reclaim some of the dirt that we've lost we'll probably be needing this at some point in the future i'm sure but let's complete the final portion of this we need four more sand there's that all right let's do it cool all right so there is and you know what? These three clay balls, I keep putting them into this chest and somehow they keep appearing back in my inventory. I swear, I put them in there so many times that... Oh, you know what it is? It's this crafting station, isn't it? Because it sees the clay balls here and it's pulling it out and putting it in here. I thought there was something crazy going on with my inventory. Well, there's 27 coke bricks. So what does it need for the quest completion since we did not get the ding? What do we need? Oh, we have another task here. We need one full coal coke in order to complete. Okay, so now we need to find a spot to put a three by three by three multi-block structure. Now I know there is a blaze juggernaut out here. I've been hearing it around. I don't know where it is though. So hopefully it's in a spot that won't bother us. Is it above? Let's just try and figure out where this guy is. Well, wherever he is, I don't think he's nearby enough that he's going to... Oh, no. Is, is that him right there? Well, that might be another one. There's probably... Oh, he's right there. That's where the other one is. Okay. Well, we got a lot of these guys nearby. Uh, this might be one of those cases where I should go into the branch mine. Just kind of like go as far back as I possibly can and just wait for things to despawn and then come back again. But yeah, I think we're going to end up putting our coal coke out here. Yeah, you know what? Let me try and get rid of all these guys. I'm just going to try and despawn everybody. So the way I've been doing it. Oh man, this whole place is like super wrecked right now. <laughs> uh, Enderman have been taking blocks and doing all sorts of crazy things with it. So yeah, pretty much I just go to one of these ends and all the way down one of these tunnels. And just wait. That's far enough away for all those enemies to despawn. It just takes a few minutes for that to happen. Let's wait for that. We'll be right back. So as I'm sitting back here waiting, that monster back there that we saw earlier that I was kind of freaking out about is coming here. These are normally one hits. Okay, so wait, did I kill it? Man, it's still coming for me. Did we get it that time? This thing doesn't want to die. Okay, so... I don't know if I'm going to be able to escape this thing. It's not doing a lot of damage, uh, but it's enough. We can do that and kind of trap it back there, I guess. <laughs> yeah, these things are called embers, I do believe. I think I saw that on the tooltip. Yeah, it's called an ember. But these guys can track you and pathfind to you from anywhere, it seems like. 
I don't know why I can't get rid of this other one over here. It's probably got some kind of crazy high defense or whatever. But as long as we can trap it right there, I think we're going to be okay. Now, it looks like most of the monsters have despawned from our base area. I don't see any other uh, any other monsters on the mini-map over here. We good? I think we're good. Okay, so let's try and find a little spot for our thing. We'll just kind of dig it into the wall back over here, I suppose. I don't want to put it up against our... Or I guess, yeah. I don't want to put it up against our cobblestone wall because things could spawn on it or it'd be easier for things to get over. If we place it in here, it'll be a little bit better, I do believe. So we need 27 blocks. So that's a three by three by three. Let's do the top first. Might be easier. All right, and then we click it, right click it in the center with our engineer's hammer. So there's a Coke oven. So now what we got to do is fill that full of Coke. Well, I guess full of coal and that'll turn it into coal Coke. Okay, a stack of coal is probably good enough. And we'll just drop that right in there. Now this does take like a minute or two per piece. It's not gonna be super fast, uh, but it does want us to have one piece of coal Coke in order to continue here. Uh, I think I'll grab <laughs> some more soul sand since I trapped that other thing back there with soul sand. Hopefully that thing will just despawn. We won't have to worry about it. Oh uh, no, it looks like it's back. It definitely found its way back. I don't know what we can do about it. Rare regenerating next monster of... Monster Ember of Turtling. Can I not attack this thing? So we have this monster right here. And I can't get away from it. I can see its HP kind of going down in the upper... Like, underneath where it says Turtling. I can see its HP down... This is going to take literally forever for me to kill it, but it looks like it is killable. I am doing damage to it constantly. Oh man. Okay. Well, I'm going to try and take this thing out. I suppose we'll wait for that coal Coke to finish up. We'll be back guys. All right guys. So I see in there trying to kill that crazy ultra rare Ember mob. Not happening, not happening. I was going through durability. I've repaired my sword once. I repaired it again and like it's just barely touching it. Like that thing has a thousand HP. I had it down to about 750 and I was watching it. Like when you look at it, it said like 750 on there. I attack it, I do like three damage and then regenerate two HP. Then I hit it again, do like three damage and regenerate two HP. It's just not worth it. It's not going to happen. So we're going to leave it. It kind of went back behind the wall. It's still over there. Eventually, sometime. We will get rid of it. Uh, so we need our coal coke and we're getting our creosote. Let's go ahead and do that and complete our quest here. And we'll go inside and get safe once again. All right. I think we should be pretty okay now. Uh, so quest complete coke oven says for making coke coal and creosote oil, you're going to need a coke oven, which we've done. We'll go and clean that real quick and let's go ahead and pop it again. Storage upgrade and a drawer all right so did that unlock anything else for us that we're going to be able to do steel ah so we're going to have to end up making the other multi-block machine for that the blast furnace razor and kinetic energy Ooh. so that might start getting us into a little bit of rf i think yeah very very possible guys we're going to wrap the episode up here for today <laughs> we had quite the adventure getting things done very cool i'm happy about our progress yeah we're starting to get into a little bit of tinkers or i'm sorry not tinkers um what's the mod called <laughs> uh what is this called immersive technology yeah not tinkers derp immersive technology yeah we're on our way to being able to get ourselves power to be able to use it better with mods and hopefully use this saw at some point very soon but anyway that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.